passive. Thank you for playing this version. For the very first time, I'm accepting donations on... On Itch.io. Yeah, that. If you enjoy my games and would like to help me cover some of the expenses in making Vincent, you can now do so. If you can't donate, please consider leaving a five-star rating or recommend this game to your friends. This will mean this will also mean a lot to me. And as always, thank you all for your love and support. Thanks for the secret of Myers. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Rainbow Gaming. I'm Matt. I'm Rob. And welcome to Events of the Secret of Myers. This is the same universe as um, Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. Yes. And I believe from what you told me, this was the guy that was on the back of my car. On the back of the Rorschach desk. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's a really good evil laugh. I like that. Oh, oh. So Start the timer. Oh. This game contains jump scares, flashing imagery, and number four elements. Please refrain yourself from playing if you believe it can affect you in any way. Advance this time, look and activate some chase. Chaser, a new headache. Dear Mr. M, I very much regret to inform you that we have encountered a new problem, just as we suspected that woman is still alive. And the thing we have long been searching for is on her. Kindly let me know how you wish to proceed. Best regards, the chaser. Tonight at 10, I will see you at the same location we always meet. Whoa. Waiting command. Begin execution. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Twenty eighty six. Hey. It is believed that personalities are forged through experiences. That when we are first born, we are no different than a ball of clay. As we journey through life, we constantly change, being shaped either by traumatic events or mundanities of everyday life. Even if it's something as trivial as the food you eat, the coffee you buy, or the time you clock into work, those unassuming little things, they alter the paths to our fate without us recognizing it. And of course, when a person loses their memories, their origins are gone. But there is one thing that always lingers at the back of my mind. What would happen if someone gains memories that don't belong to them? What in the hell? I would love to find out what they become. Okay. Oh. My head, it hurts. How long have I been asleep? Being barely able to withstand the pain I forced myself to set up. Hmm? Where, where am I? What I saw was a luxurious bedroom embellished in excellent choices of upholstery with lavish and upscale decor scorning in the face of modesty. Did I say that right? Yeah. What happened? 
I struggle to recall anything about how I ended up here. My phone, where's my phone? I frantically reached into my pockets. But it wasn't there. Shit, what should I do? What on earth happened last night? How did I end up here? I guess I'll look around first. Maybe something will help me regain my memories. Objective, determine where you are. Tips, click on objects and investigate them. You can end your investigation with the button in the top right corner. I pulled open the drawers next to the bed. A travel guide. Is this a travel guide? I scanned through some of the pages. The content consists of mat how you say that meticulously yeah. created articles and photography of local attractions. I like how moves. Yeah. <laughs> Collected evidence travel guide. String of contemporary artwork on the wall right in the room, each, each of them vying for attention. Uh, just a bed that feels very comfortable. Is Ooh. it just me, or did the paintings change a bit? Like, there's a little bit of a silhouette of a person there. Oh, there is. Where? If you look really closely on this one, you can see, like, here's the eye, eye. The head, the hair. Alright, yeah, so we search the bed, we search the painting, and look outside. Everything seemed oddly quiet outside the window. There were only leaves rustling to the rhythm of the breeze. It's cool how it moves. That's, That's really, really nifty. Awesome. Yeah. All I could see in the distance was a boundless expanse of mountains blanketed in forests, stretching as far as the eye could see. Collected evidence, the view. Evidence 2 of 2. So finish investigation. Investigation complete. After making a thorough inspection of the room, I returned to take the travel guide out from the drawer. I quickly flipped through it and found a map included on the very last page. Judging from what I've seen so far, I'm probably in G4. Yeah, I told you, that's my step up. I out. G4 District. So this is where we were in the first one, up here. No, we were in G2. Yeah. The G4 travel guide I have in my hand was likely prepared by the owner of the house for guests staying in this room. If that's the case, I would have to be in the G4 District. However, G4 is not a small region. Get a firmer grasp on my predicament, I have to reflect myself to be more specific. Which part of the G4, G4 district did I be in? Somewhere up here. Yeah, that's kind of what it says again. It wouldn't make any sense if I was in a city. All I saw from the window was a vast terrain of forestry, and there wasn't any train to find a building in the park. Really? Really? All I saw from the window was a vast terrain of forestry, and there wasn't any trace of other buildings in proximity. So isolated, crying up that pin drop could be heard as it has to be in the suburbs of G4. G4 suburbs, how did I end up here? I felt myself getting more and more bewildered. Okay. Suddenly, a succession of footfalls outside my room interrupted my thoughts. Is someone else here? Should I go check it out? Make sure to save regularly. Yeah, I know. Investigate. Stan can eat your rest. I don't use the room to rest. You 
Oh. Okay. Shit, my head. It hurts. But it would be a waste of time for me to stay here. Maybe the person outside knows something. I got out of bed and made a beeline to the door. That's a nice little bar area. That is really dark. Yeah. The lobby was shrouded in darkness. All I could faintly discern were the contours of a bar room set up in front of me. A bar counter? The possible scenario is that I passed out here after getting drunk. It could be a hangover. Yet, judging from my surroundings, I highly doubt that a bar is where I'm at right now. To me, this place seems more like someone's residency. Whose house could this possibly be then? I have no clue. Whoa. Cool. Behind me, I heard the stopping of something approaching at an accelerating tempo, striking my eardrums with heavy percussion that were almost deafening as it continued to grow in strength. When my racing heartbeat began to resonate with it, what is going on? Cautiously, I looked back. Oh, oh God! <laughs> What, what is that? The scene in front of me is an unutterable atrocity, a disfigured face half sawed off, with flesh, fresh blood oozing out from its remaining pores, making small puddles on the floor. Its disproportionate bulged, eye, bulged eyes filled with contempt while every broken capillary and vessel extended across the sclera, emitting dis, disparate discharges. My English is not good today. It's okay. The only thing they even look close to a human. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is terrifying. Was its forced contorted grin. Whoa. Oh god. Liver <gasps> What? <laughs> I backed away quickly and was able to see the full form of this creature. Blood was gushing out from every crevice of it, looking like it could collapse into a pile of bones with a full of the strength. Waving its claw in the air, it snarled at me with unfathomable anguish and began to approach me. What should I do? Yeah. Correct. <laughs> There's no way I can fight this thing with my headache, I need to hide. I sprinted back to the bedroom, slammed the door, and locked as fast as I could with my remaining strength. Hide under the bed! Oh god! I held my breath firmly as the monster banged on the door, trying to shred it apart, stifling my audible panting. What the hell? That's... Is it gone? Am I safe now? I tried to regain my composure in increments, but I'm trapped here now. What should I do? The stress had me overwhelmed. Uh. Oh. Ah, my headache. It's unbearable. I think it would be better for me to rest a bit more. I'll figure out how to get out of here once I feel better. I lay down nestled into the velvety bed and tucked the blanket snug over me. I wouldn't be able to sleep like that. No, me neither. Sorry. No, you're good. Soon I was asleep before I realized it. Hmm? What? Yeah. What was that? Mm, that's unsettling. It's like crickets chirping. Yeah, but like, not. It doesn't sound like crickets, it sounds like freaking jingle bells. Yeah, I like a mashup between the two. Oh. Jingle crickets. And then you can hear like a. Huh? What time is it now? Slowly, I open my eyes. Oh, oh hi! Oh. Jesus Christ! Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. I was greeted <laughs> by a figure sitting in the darkness at the edge of my bed, staring at me with his eerie eyes. Hello. 
Who? Who are you? For some reason, he was abused, amused by my uneasiness. <laughs> relax. Oh. relax, my dear. He laughed. What? <laughs> he, he laughed. <laughs> I was simply demanded by the owner of the mansion to keep an eye on you and make sure you're not causing any trouble. Mansion? I'm in a mansion? How did I get here, and who exactly are you? I gave him a weary glance and covered more of my body with the blanket. Mm -hmm. Who am I? With his head tilted, he looked at me, seemingly entertained. My name is Victor Blake, and I am good friends with the owner of this mansion. Victor Blake? Victor Blake. What? <laughs> I calmed down and started to take a closer look at this man. He was wearing a tasteful black bow tie and had vibrant, stylish red hair. But the most striking part about him had to be his unusual eyes and arms. Are those mechanical prosthetics? Mm. Well, as for how you ended up here, I'm personally quite curious about that as well. So, he's no how he has no clue how I got here e either. What should I ask him? What should we ask? Um Hmm, I'm between what was that thing and who's the owner of this mansion? Question. Ugh. We could probably ask more than one thing, so what do we want to find out first? Um, who is the owner of this mansion? What was that thing? I think I'm gonna go with who is the owner of who is the owner. Of yeah, the I think this will be. Like... You mentioned that you were not the one who owned this place. Who's the owner then? Mm -hmm. The owner. His name is Vincent Edgeworth. How should I put this? He is quite an adorable man, yet could be extremely dangerous at the same time. Vincent Edgeworth. Hmm. For some reason, his name rang a bell. I want to ask what was that thing. Did you see that petrifying monster with blood oozing out of its body? Mm -hmm. A monster? He seemed... Oh. No, you're good, you're good. He seemed puzzled. Oh, let me guess. You're talking about those cyborgs, huh? Cyborgs? There's more than one of them? Don't be so worried, my dear. They're just Vincent's little pets. Pets? <laughs> that thing almost had me for dinner. Have you been watching me sleep this whole time? Have you been watching me sleep this whole time? <laughs> Indeed I have, my dear. In fact, I'm getting quite envious seeing how peacefully you slept. I felt my cheeks warming up despite having no familiarity with him. Oh, Happy no. your eyes and arms. Mm. Oh, I went silent for a moment. Oh, sorry. Oh, well, what can I say? There are things in our lives that won't always go our way, huh? He showed his shoulders, smiled, and my questions seemed to be soon forgotten. Alright, that's all we can really do. If Victor doesn't know how I ended up here either, then there's no need for me to keep asking him questions. Well then, I guess it's time for me to take my leave now. I lifted the posh blanket to the side and got out of my bed. Please thank Mr. Edward on my behalf for providing me with such a nice room. I started to make my way towards the door. Mm -hmm. May I ask where you're heading to, my dear? Victor looked at me with curiosity. Where? I'm heading back to... back to... I felt my hand tighten on the door handle like a vice. I struggled to come up with a response. Where am I going? Where is my home? I realized that I had, sim I had not simply forgotten what happened last night. I had lost all my memories. The secret of mine. That was the prologue? 
Oh my oh, god. That's so cool. <sighs> no name, no cash, no ID. I'm not even in a position to be a vagabond. Hmm. Oh, darling, please. Don't be so distressed. You have to realize, losing your memories could also be a blessing. Countless people are imprisoned by their own memories. They try their best to let go, yet cling to them at the same time. But you, on the other hand, are given a second chance. Isn't that wonderful? I'll be honest, even I'm getting a bit jealous. I see where his point is coming from, but seriously, what could be worse than being homeless? I sighed again. Victor, how many times do I have to tell you quit smoking in my mansion? Well, well, well. Speak of the devil. It isn't my dear friend, Vincent. Oh. Vincent? So he's the honor of this man? Hmm. Madam, if this perverted man has caused you any trouble, <laughs> I could call the police and have him arrested right away. <laughs> um, I think I'm good. Thank you, though. I was fine awkwardly. Are these two really friends? Vincent, may I ask? Oh wait, that's yours. It, that's okay. It Lord. feels weird having. I'm sorry. Them say, it, it feels weird having them say, "Madam," even though none of us here are women. <laughs> yeah. You go ahead. Uh, Vincent, may I ask if you are the owner of this man? Oh, indeed, I am. Oh, he smiled. <laughs> there's, a, there's a laugh in there. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies for not introducing myself properly. My name is Vincent Edward, and I am the owner of this mansion. Yes. Edward. That was kind of peculiar. May I have your name, madam? The reason for your visit. The reason for my visit? So I was the one who came here to begin with? Um, I, I wasn't sure how to respond. It is a shame, Vincent. It appears that our guest has lost all her memories. Victor came to my rescue. Hmm, is that so? How interesting. If that's the case, shall we decide on a new thing for you then, madam? I guess he's right. A temporary name would be better than nothing. Well then, what should my name be? What if we put in Taylor Lee? Yeah, see what happens. Do it. Yes. Taylor Lee, please call me Taylor Lee. Amazing. Taylor Lee, very good. It is my pleasure to meet you, Taylor Lee. You seem a bit distressed, and I'm assuming you have many questions on your mind right now. Is there anything I can try to help you with? Vincent might know something valuable that will reopen my memory banks, what should I ask him? I will, I'm between how did I get here and did I bring anything? You have to ask what, how did oh. I get here. Mr. Edgeworth, please tell me, how did I end up here? How did you end up here? Hey, Lily, I regret to inform you that I don't know either. The truth is, my butler was the one who heard peculiar knocking sounds in the door last night. When he went to open it, he saw you face down on the stairs, unconscious. Since we knew I recognize the hair. Since we knew nothing about you or the reason you were here, we decided to place you in the guest room for the time being. It legitimately is Taylor, oh my god. Vincent's words sent me into deep thoughts. Deep into thoughts. Why on earth would I come to his mansion? Oh, you have to ask what was that monster? Earlier today I saw some sort of creature I've never seen before. Something that seemed half human, half robotic. What exactly was that? Oh, my dear Taylor Lee, it appears that you have already met one of my friends. But promise me what you do refrain from feeding them if it isn't their meal time yet. I guess I would be a fitting appetizer for them, am I not? 
Did I bring anything with me? Did I have anything on me when I arrived here? Hmm. Speaking of that, we did find this in your pocket. He handed me a business card. Oh! The card was mostly unrecognizable except for the huge M-shaped logo. Myers Corporation? I pondered where I've heard this name. Why would I own a business card if someone working there? Oh, have you noticed how there has been two names that- uh, two last names that were the last names of serial killers? Like fictional serial- fictional serial killers? Uh... Because... Myers is in Michael Myers, and then there was, um, uh, Kruger. Mm-hmm. Freddy Yep, yep. So, that's interesting. What is Myers Corporation? I looked up and asked. Hmm. Myers Corporation is a world-famous mechanic engineering corporation based in the G4 district. Said Victor. It's also the first company that was able to develop highly flexible, flexible mechanical prosthetics. Which, while you were out of the room, we realized that his eyes and his arms are mechanical prosthetics. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Well, unfortunately, this company was forced to declare bankruptcy due to a horrific accident that took place five years ago. A horrific incident? Mm -hmm. The G-Force Cyborg incident. Vincent seemed displeased at even the mention of it. The G-Force Cyborg incident? What happened? Both Vincent and Victor fell silent for a moment as if they were debating if I should even carry the knowledge of this event. Hmm. In January 2080, a notable number of citizens mysteriously went missing in a single week. Victor finally started to speak again. They disappeared without any sign as if they had evaporated into thin air. No wills, no corpse, no bloodstains, not a single trace. But there was one thing these those people had in common. They were all last spotted near the T4 district. Who would have, have enough power to make hundreds of citizens disappear in a single week? Naturally, the police suspected Myers Corporation, a mega international monopoly located in the G4 district. Nonetheless, Myers Corporation refused to admit that they had any involvement in this matter. After a year-long investigation, the police accidentally discovered a secret chamber located in the basement of the corporation. Inside the chamber, there was a group of cyborgs. Look at this one's got cat ears. Yeah. That's cute. Cyborg? Isn't that the thing I saw before? It would be natural for you to assume those cyborgs were the missing citizens. But the truth was more gruesome than that. Oh, oh god! <laughs> The truth was, those missing citizens were used as cattle feed for the cyborgs. Oh my god. That's terrifying! As for where the cyborgs themselves originally came from, nobody was really sure. Even in light of this discovery, Myers Corporation still firmly denied the fact that they had ever granted permission for such an inhuman experiment. It's the, it's the logo! Yeah. With help from an attorney, one innocent employee was convicted. He was sentenced to life without parole, yet the company itself was free of any charges. However, that was not the end of the story. Two months later, the attorney suffered serious injuries from a vehicle accident and was one step away from getting killed. Within the same year, all core members of Myers Corporation were found brutally murdered. Jesus. The perpetrator behind those horrific acts was never found. To this day, people still mysteriously vanish in the G4 district. Why did you say huh? Why did you gasp? Because... What if the one employee... is Albert? What if? Rumor says that the spirits of the victims from the experiments are still wandering the streets, taking the lives of those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. Victor's story sent shivers down my spine. I was not expecting such a chilling urban legend from the G4 district. Victor, may I ask how you knew all of this? Hmm. The answer to that is simple, Victor laughed. 
Both Vincent and I are former employees of Myers Corporation. <laughs> Victor, I must say that I am quite impressed by how much you have committed the story to memory, Vincent said sarcastically. <clears throat> Victor tried to cough it off. He glanced at the clock on the wall and seemed to be a bit troubled by the time. Well, well, story time's over. I shall take my leave now. Vincent, join me for a drink at the pub tomorrow night, won't you? And it was a pleasure to meet you, my dear Taylor Lee. Victor left the mansion. After that, Vincent helped me settle into the guest room. I thanked him and then returned to my room to get some rest for the night. It was around midnight when I was quietly laying on my bed with my mind racing. I kept thinking about what Victor told me. The missing G4 citizens, the cyborgs in the basement, and the mysterious Myers Corporation. I took the card out of my pocket and scrutinized it under the moonlight. Why was this all I brought with me to Vincent's mansion? What exactly do I have to do with Myers Corporation? There's only one place I should go to find out. That's time. That is the Myers Corporation itself. Oh goodness. This is gonna have to this is gonna have to wait until next time. It's still a great great game. This is really, really cool. Yeah. I already saved, so we're good. This is really cool. Okay. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Me too. On that note, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Rainbow Gaming. If you liked this, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to our channel, that'll just form our arts. Also, if you have any recommendations for other games you'd like to see played, please leave a comment below. Also, check out the description for this video. We'll have links to our other accounts, which are Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, so check those out. Uh, guys, you got anything? I'm good. <laughs> It's a really cool art style. I'm really enjoying this. This is awesome. Well, guys, until next time, I'm Matt. I'm Brooke. I'm Brooke. We'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Uh,